Hey there guys, what's up? Ben here, gonna do a quick tutorial with you guys. So pretty much this tutorial is going to be on GTA 4. And uh yeah, so this I'm gonna show you how to uninstall all the car mods for your GTA 4 because some people are like, oh I've downloaded a mod, I don't wanna how do I get rid of it? And Jack was saying to me, I think the mods ruin the game. I can agree with him on that one because they're not the original cars from the game. And also people do change like the acceleration, the handling, but people do like the mods. But if you're like someone like me, you know, just fed up with the mods now, uh, this is a tutorial, tutorial on how you can get rid of them. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to go to this website, uh, not that, you want to go to this website, GTA, gtadownloads.com, uh, this link will be in the description. And you go down and you want to download this second one here, this one here, you want to press download. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, so we're just going to open it up. It's just going to replace one of the files in the uh, in your GTA 4 uh, file. So pretty much once you download it, you want to extract it. Uh, I just extracted it to my desktop. You will need WinRAR for this if you haven't already got it. I'll put a link in this one. So, uh, so then once we've installed it, there it is. It's right there. And uh, yeah, so then pretty much when we've done that, uh, if you if you're using this program, the vehicle mod installer version 1.2, uh, this will sort out all your problems as well. So do not worry, do not worry, guys. So okay, so pretty much once you've done that, you want to go into your computer, then you want to go into your local disk, and then you want to go into a programs 86, and you want to go down and find if you're using Steam. Uh, you want to find Steam and go through there, but if you're using it on disk, you want to go through Rockstar Games. Rockstar Games. So you want to go to Steam, and uh, and then you want to go into Steam Apps. Come on, and then uh, GTA 4, GTA 4, um, PC, so it's, uh, PC models. Uh, CD images and then that one there in vehicles. It's a long way to find it, guys, but don't worry. Uh, you just look over it until you find it. And uh, so then, pretty much what you want to do is you want to just drag that in and you want to do move and replace this one, the first one. Uh, and then there you go, guys, it has replaced all the original vehicles. So then, what we want to do is we want to exit that. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to uh, close all this down. And um, I'm just going to start up uh, GTA 4 and uh, see what happens. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so get on the and see. And it has worked, guys. There you are. That used to be a. Uh, I used to have that as a Dodge Charger, uh, 1970 edition, and uh, it is no longer. It is a normal GTA, and uh, this car over here, not really a car, little trolley pull along thing, uh, it used to be uh, my F1 car. It used to be the Mercedes F1 car, because the only reason was because um, that uh, that car was at the airport, and that was the only place on the runways where you could probably get a good run. And uh, and it has worked, yes, for these cars as well. Because this I used to have as a Bugatti Veyron, but um, it has now gone back to the original. Good old Turismo. Okay, so thanks for watching guys, I hope that has helped, um, please like, please subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, the more subscribers we get, the better my driving will become, because my driving is shocking, uh, I can't drive to save my life at all, so, that's pretty good drifting there, Ben. Looks like we've got another subscriber guys, thanks for watching guys, uh, more videos on the way, goodbye.